title of my project is The Right Way to Showcase Appalachia. And in the book, it's spelled incorrectly, which drives me crazy. It's supposed to be W-R-I-T-E. Um, so my thought process behind this project, I started teaching, this is my 14th year. So back when I started, we still did portfolios. And as a language arts teacher, if you've ever dealt with portfolios, I got to learn my students the most back when we did personal pieces. And then of course our standards changed and that personal piece was kind of gone. We still have that narrative, but it's just not the same. And so I feel like my students work harder and I get more work out of them when I know them personally. And so from the presentation this morning on drugs that you all saw in our area, I know that's a big problem, but I feel like a lot of times that's in the news and a lot of the good things that we're doing is not showcased. So I wanted to design a project that would incorporate writing, but it would also incorporate showcasing the good things that are going on in our schools and in our communities. So I came up with the right way to showcase Appalachia. And so what I did with this project, I requested a digital camera, and my goal is for my students to use that camera to take photographs of their community. And I wanna also expose them to some creative writing, and so they're gonna, with the photographs they take, they're gonna then create a writing piece that goes along with that. And um, we do not have an art class, at our school because of funding we lost our art teacher several years ago and I wanted to incorporate I try to hit other subject areas whenever I can in my class so this project also incorporates social studies because we're learning about the community and history as well as art because they're going to do an e-course online I think it has 10 mini units where they learn some of the aspects of photography proper ways to do photographs and those things we went one-to-one -one last year district-wide I've had my computers when ARI first started and I got one of the first round of grants. And so we have access to those digital courses so the students can learn about that digital photography. Um, once they create their pictures and they create their personal writings, we're gonna go through the writing process and that's where students can learn editing and revising skills. And my goal is to take those pictures that they take and their writings and we're gonna create a gallery wall in our school where the student work is gonna be showcased. And in that gallery, um, I also purchased with my grant, I think it's called a sprocket, and I've got it in, but I haven't had a chance to use it yet. And it's a very small portable printer that connects wirelessly to the camera that I ordered. And so it prints off small images so it can be accompanied right beside the student writing that they're gonna do. And then that's the first step. And so then the second step is to take those digital images and their writing pieces, and I plan to incorporate that into a movie. And that's something we tried to do. I tried to do an interactive um, newsletter for our school last year. And that was kind of challenging because I was doing it with my RTI kids as an enrichment and it wasn't hitting everybody. So I really wanted this to hit all of my students because like I said, I wanted to learn more about them. And I feel like if they take ownership and if it's something personal to them, they're gonna put forth more effort and more work into the project. So our ultimate goal is to create that video that showcases our community using the student writings and the photos that they take. And hopefully I can talk some of my kids into doing some narration and incorporate that in as well. So I talk fast, so <laughs> questions? <laughs> Johnson County Middle School. And so you're doing writings that are about the pictures that you're yes. using in the proposal? That's what we're hoping to hit. And we have the local um, home place, Paintsville at the Mountain Home Place. And so we're hoping to get some images there. I wanted to showcase, and um, we have some images from Apple Day. That's a celebration we have in our community. And um, that was back at the first of October. So we're trying to hit some of those local things to showcase our community. Any other questions? 